hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to use laser tool in the app high paint so i am using the old artwork i have done so using this artwork i will show you how to use this laser tool so laser tool is basically to uh, you know select an particular area so here you can see sometimes you will have this uh, magic wand tool instead of lasso so if you don't find the lasso tool at the top you may find magic wand tool here you can see the magic wand tool is visible so for, uh, magic wand tool is also for selecting area but you can see when the artwork is textured you cannot select that uh, areas using the magic wand tool because it have so many texture color variation you can see it is not able to uh, select uh, entire shape so in that case you can go for lasso tool instead of magic wand tool so how to use these lasso tool for example i am going to draw a leaf here so i am making a leaf shape you can just uh, create a shape by just uh, something like drawing instead of drawing i'm going to drag and the selection area will be created and you can apply the shadings like this so this is how i usually do for watercolor painting when uh, so uh, i use a lot of laser tool for watercolor painting so this is how we have to make use of the laser tool so now in the new layer I will show you some example so there are so many tools at the top of lasso tool uh, when it comes to high paint so here you can see I selected leaf shape and if I draw another leaf shape here the previous one got erased so that's because I didn't switch on the add uh, option inside the lasso here you can see again it is vanished so to make multiple selection multiple area selection switch on the add at the top of the lasso tool and then if you draw select multiple areas it will get selected so if you want to get select uh, you know want to select multiple areas switch on the add option next comes the remove so if i want to remove any details or any selected area from the selection that i have already made if you have the empty canvas and if you use the remove option of the lasso nothing will be removed because you didn't select anything from that so make a selection and if you want to remove some part of it part of the selection just switch on the remove and then remove the area that you don't want then you can make the drawing process so here you can see wherever i removed there is uh, no selection and it is clearly visible here so this is how we have to use the remove option inside the lasso and next comes the invert so it actually going to invert the selection now i have the leaf area that is selected now if i you can see invert the area nothing will happen in the selected leaf shape instead the inverted areas other than that leaf shape all the areas are selected and you can draw whatever in that place and you will not um, you cannot draw anything on that leaf shapes so next one is to clear if you want to clear the selection that you made just click on the clear now you can see if you in the remove and try to draw or select something it is not possible because that is uh, you know there is nothing selected so that you can remove some area from that so now i'm going to some area select some area like this using the lasso tool and i'm going to use the feather option so basically i'm drawing two leaves and shading like this you can see the edges are sharp and it is solid now if you switch on the feather it will be feathered out in the gradient way so it will not have the hard edges for example i am just increasing the feather value now i am adding the shade like this here you can see we don't have any hard edges now it is gradiently reducing so this is how the feather works you can use this for adding some 
shadow details highlight details i will show you how to do that now so i'm going to clear the selection clear the thing that i have drawn and now here i'm going to add some shadow for this fruit now i'm just making to the bottom and now I have selected this area for shadow and this for the highlight. Now I made, uh, you know, feathering out. Now I'm going to add some dark shade of red. Now you can see when I add detail, there is no hard edges. It is, it has some smooth blended corners. There is no hard edge. That's because I have switched on the feathered, uh, value so if you don't have feather value you can see, you can see how it uh, blended well now without using feather if i use a lasso and add shading this is how it looks it you know you can see it is very hard it doesn't look like a shadow so that's if you if you want to do uh, such a details then you can go for this feather tool so next next tool i think the next one is delete let's see so next one is duplicate so now i'm going to select a fruit from this and i'm going to show you how to duplicate make sure you are on the layer where there is an artwork where you want to duplicate if you go to empty layer and try to select and duplicate it is not possible because nothing that to duplicate so be on that layer and select the area to be duplicated and click on the duplicate you can see here a new layer is formed with the selected details now you can uh, you know this actually work like a copy paste you can just click on the duplicate and it will be duplicated then you can move that to some other place and make it as a new detail so that's how the duplicate works and next comes the cut i'm going to cut only half of this fruit and sorry i just clicked duplicate accidentally now i have selected now i'm going to cut here you can see i splitted that fruit into half just by selecting half of it and using the cut option under the lasso so we you know it automatically create a separate layer for the cut uh, um, you know the details that is cut down now i'm going to delete that and then next tool so here i have this detail i'm going to delete click on that nothing happens because i think i'm on another layer that's why there is nothing going on here you can see this is where the leaf presents and now if you click on delete the details get deleted instantly you don't need to erase and all those things you can simply select and delete and next one is the transform if you click on that you can select and move that details to somewhere else like this or you can use the distort change the shape of the leaf like this you can see how realistic it is how 3d it looks you can change like this or using mesh again or uh, you can do like this so in you know high paint it is called the format but in ibis paint x it is mesh so this is how we got the leaf using the transform tool and now i'm going to use the selected transformation selection transformation which means the area uh, the details will not be uh, transformed but the shape of selection will be transformed for example here i'm just drawing a leaf now i'm going to use this select selection transform now the detail is not transformed but the area that we have selected is moved to somewhere else now here i can add uh, the same leaf shape instantly and i'm going to add it again here so this is how the uh, selection transform works you actually going to move the area of selection um, next 
comes the extend selection for example here you can see if I this is the usual area that I have selected and if I reduce the extend selection value the selection area is reduced and I can add shadow like this now if I increase the value it get increased this is not similar to feather it is something else the entire area is increased and you have this solid edges so this is all about the lasso tool i hope you learned a lot from my video if so subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching bye